I don't see how those things work together. Sie hat keine Ahnung. I don't want to burn that. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. <laughs> Not the worst idea, but I think I'll hold on to it for now. Na, gut. Zwei, ne? Haben wir ja immer dann als. Fünf. Also, ich glaube, es wäre eher. Ja, obwohl fünf können natürlich sein, ne? dann sechsstellig, ne? Ja, ich, ich gebe es ein, aber ich bin... Ja. Hm. I must be... Nope. That... Nope. Nope. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I doubt I need to do any actual math. Grandpa mentions a total of six flowers in the message. There's also six digits in the code. I feel like I'm so close to figuring it out. Ich nicht. Aber nett, dass die helfen. die Zahl für rot. Sie hat auch gesagt, ich glaube nicht, dass wir tatsächlich irgendwelche Mathematik machen müssen. Wozu ja dann auch ähm, mal rechnen oder plus rechnen dazugehören würde. Tja, schade. keinen Sinn. Hm. Sagst du noch mehr, wenn wir jetzt hier im Notizbuch darüber nachdenken? There has to be some way of figuring out the code. I'm sure both the math book and the first message on the tape have something to do with it. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. Da fällt mir nichts so ein. Fuck. Wir sind schlecht. Ja, Okular wäre jetzt echt nicht verkehrt. Ich 
Ich kann ja auch nichts anklicken, ne? Also. Ich habe gerade ernsthaft drüber nachgedacht. Hey, ähm, ist hier vielleicht eine Zahl, die keine Primzahl ist? Und dann ist mir da eingefallen, ach nee, wir machen keine Mathematik. Die Überschriften, Primzahlen. Das, wo es hingeklebt ist, ist wichtig, glaube ich. Doch nicht. Weil ich habe hier so gedacht, so ja, 3, ne? also dann gehen wir hier zu 31 runter. Und bei Blau, da, da ist es dann irgendwie die 23. Aber bei Gelb? Ähm, was? Ja, wir können das ja vielleicht mal durchspielen hier. Also, ähm, wenn wir das jetzt hier mal machen, dann wäre das 31. Fragezeichen. Und Pi. Hm. Ne? 31. Ja, eigentlich schon, ne? Versuchen wir es mal. Einunddreißig, dreiundzwanzig, einunddreißig. No, that's not it. Kann nicht sein. Aber jetzt wollen wir das auf Null lassen. Nope, that's not it. Drei rote. Eine blaue, zwei gelbe. Ich sehe da echt gar keinen Sinn drin. Also jetzt nicht mehr zumindest. Was wäre wenn? Alle 
ist nur die Zahlen bei den Fibonacci. Und was würde da deiner Meinung nach heute herauskommen? Ja, ne? Hat sie nicht noch irgendwie einen besseren Tipp für uns? Nope. That. Nope. 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 A leather briefcase sealed by a combination lock. Nope. Die hat doch gerade irgendwie so einen krassen Dialog gehabt. Warum jetzt nicht mehr? Nope, that's not it. Vielleicht muss ich nochmal reingehen. Nope, that's not Nope, that's not it. Nope. 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 Hm. Note to self. Remember hm. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting closer to finding the source. I have a theory, but I need help. I'm gonna have to involve somebody else. Nehmen dann 2, 3, 5, 1, 3, 1. 2, 3, 5, 1, 3, 1, ja. Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, schön. Lutsch mich rund und nenn mich Bärbel. A thick yellow envelope. It's the envelope I found in the briefcase. Let's see what's in here. There were two pictures, a newspaper clipping, a key, and a tape inside. Looks overexposed. I can't make much out. I think I see trees in the background, but most of the picture is just bright white. Grandpa in uniform with two other men. Something is handwritten on the back. Flight training. McConnell Air Force Base, 1941. Tragic drowning in Conwell Springs. In early morning on Sunday the 14th, a teenage girl found dead near Conwell Lake. The girl is survived by her mother, father, and younger brother. The funeral service will be held at Conwell Cemetery on the 21st of July. The notice is dated July 15th, 1975. Tragic story. I wonder why Grandpa saved this. It's a small key. Fairly modern design. No identifying tag, unfortunately. Standard microtape labeled answering machine. It should play fine in Mr. Dicto. The tape I found in the briefcase. It seems that it was used in an answering machine at some point. Yeah. 
You've reached the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Oh, Erica just sunlight. had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call, don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. Joseph, you there? It's me, Cocky. I, it happened to me too. And I'm not going to tell any of those bastards. They got it all wrong. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. Hmm. I wonder who this cocky is. Ja, einige neue Leads. Cool. Ähm, hast du noch Bock? Dann mache ich mir noch eine Pfeife an. Stündchen können wir noch. Jo, alles klar. Dann äh, gehe ich nochmal kurz in eine Pause und dann, dann machen wir ähm, schön Kathy Rain weiter. Ich mache noch schöne Musik, auch wenn die, die wahrscheinlich nicht so gut gefällt. So, bis gleich. So, weiter geht das. Wahrscheinlich ist es am sinnvollsten, jetzt die Oma zu fragen nach dem Cookie. Oh, hello, dear. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Can you tell me anything about McConnell Air Force Base? It's not very far from Conwell Springs. Joseph was stationed there for some time during the war. I believe they're still training young pilots there today. So when did Grandpa enlist in the Air Force? Oh, it was barely past the honeymoon when Joseph left to fight in that terrible war together with his best friend Charles and my brother Andrew. Those were nerve-wracking years. I was so worried I thought I would burst. Every short visit from Joseph was a joy, but he kept going back to the front, to my great dismay. When I told Joseph about being pregnant with your father, he finally realized that enough was enough. He had done his duty. Shortly thereafter, he returned to a quiet farmer's life in this very house, helping your great-grandfather with the crops, until he passed. Hmm. Not good. Do you know anything about a young girl drowning around here? Oh, yes. It was the saddest thing. She was only 16. We never really knew the family. They preferred to keep to themselves. Do you remember the name of the girl or her family? I'm awfully sorry, dear. I, I just can't recall. That's okay, Grandma. I was just wondering why Grandpa would have wanted to save this. Joseph was always affected by the tragedy of others. Perhaps he wanted to do something for the family. In any case, he didn't speak to me about it. Does the nickname Cocky mean anything to you? Hmm. Sounds vaguely familiar. It reminds me of the aviator call signs Joseph and his friends gave one another. Joseph was vigilante. I can't count the number of times he got into trouble for breaking the rules. To this day, I have no idea how he always managed to land on his feet. <laughs> Must be hereditary, given the things I've gotten away with. 
Every time I wake up, I am genuinely surprised that I'm not in jail. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad, dear. But to get back to the subject, you don't have any idea of who this cocky is? I'm afraid not, but the Air Force might be a good place to start. Oder dieses Bild hier. <clears throat> I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. Planes, planes, and more planes. Hmm. Ja, dann haben wir jetzt wohl ein paar neue Orte. I wonder who this cocky person really is, and why he needed Grandpa's help so desperately. There has to be a way to find out who she was. I know when she died, maybe that can help somehow. I don't have anything to say about that. The question is, fahren wir nur darauf warten? Naja. <coughs> Der weiß bestimmt, wer alles da begraben ist, der Mann. Schönes Artwork übrigens hier. Oh nein, 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 nein. Ah, ich bin zu weit nach rechts gelaufen. Brumm. It says, no reason to go in there. All right, this is the right date. Looks like her name was Lily Myers. I should try to get a hold of her family. I wonder what that kid is doing here all alone. Blumenklauen. Für die Mutter zu Hause. A little boy, maybe five or six years old. Jung Kopf anschauen. Hey kid. Hi yourself. What are you doing? None of your business. Huh, I like you kid. You're not here alone, right? Where's your mom? Oh, she's around. I don't see her. You must be blind or something. I'll go look for your mom, okay? Don't go anywhere. Whatever. The grave is brimming with flowers. I'm gonna find out what happened to you, Grandpa. I promise. <coughs> ich glaube eher, dass seine Mutter hier irgendwo rumliegt. So, das ist jetzt hier 95. Hm. I should go look for his mother. No reason to go in there. Ja, und wo soll die Mutter jetzt sein?
it says price. 94, 92, 75. David Spielmann. Aber ist jeweils nicht die Mutter, oder? Ann Blackwell, 81. Wann war das hier? 16.8. Also irgendwie so zwei, drei Wochen nachdem diese Frau hier gestorben ist. Kid? Er ist weg. Oh mein Gott. I guess he found his mom. So, weiter links darf ich nicht gehen. So, gucken wir mal nach den Meyers im Telefonbuch. Ne? It's a phone book, Conwell Springs County. I should be able to use this for looking up phone numbers of people or places in town. She's been dead for two decades. I could try to find someone in her family, but I'll need a full name. Zur Polizeiwache gehe ich dann oh, auch hin. Hello. Jetzt reden wir mal mit der Großmutter wegen der Lily Myers, ob die da vielleicht noch was weiß. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? <coughs> I found out that the drowned girl's name was Lily Myers. Ring a bell? Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? Sue, Jack, oh, and their children, Lily and Nathan. Do they still live around here? Mother and son do. I, I see them in town from time to time. They live somewhere near the lake. But not the father. Jack, was it? No. He disappeared not long after Lily took her own life. Michael Myers. Oh, she killed herself. That's news to me. Oh, that girl had been troubled for years. Truman made an official statement later. It was no accident. I see. Do you know how I can reach the family? Not really, dear. Like I said, they tend to keep to themselves. I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. Das fehlt mir ein bisschen, dass man mit Doppelklick eventuell sofort die Szenen wechseln kann. All right, found an address. Wie jetzt? Und du fährst da jetzt einfach hin, oder wie? Okay. Ich habe noch nicht versucht, das Cape zu drücken, aber 
Habe ich auch ein bisschen Schiss, weil wir haben noch nicht gespeichert. Niemals. Ich weiß auch nicht, wie es gehen sollte hier in dem Spiel. Ja komm, ich versuche mal zu speichern. Nicht bong. Boing. Fifty-five degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. Wie viel ist das in echten Temperatureinheiten? It doesn't belong to me. I don't want to take it without a good reason. Conwell Lake, where Lily Myers met her demise. Oh, gee, I would, but I forgot my swimsuit at home. Hm. It's totally overflowing with cigarette butts. Somebody around here is a chain smoker. We have something in common. Good to know. I can see someone moving inside. 